back on the intense Easy DH project of cleaning it down. Um, I redid these pedals the other way just with the new bolts because literally every single bolt is stripped. Um, so these need a service anyway, but I wanted just to keep everything all nice and silver for this build. So I am going through some paint stripper on these and I'm just going to see how they turn out and then if they're good then I'll, I'll start on this one. But here's the internals which are just, yeah, all old grease and um, yeah I've cleaned that side out but basically we'll just give these like a little bit of a clean up, bit of a service and um, hopefully we can get that to a nice polish and uh, have some really nice silver DX pedals on it. And as you can see the um, paint stripper is doing its thing, it's all going nice and bubbly uh, I am going to leave that a little bit longer um, just to get it off a little bit more but yes it is working ok so this was in the paint stripper for about uh, 3 or 4 hours and it basically just got rid of the top layer in some parts so there is still I'm going to have to do another little coat just get rid of the rest of this stuff but this is uh, reminding me of exactly how the um, the RockShox Duty forks were where there's just so many layers of paint on um, which is good because yeah you know these are pretty bomb proof back in the day but um, yeah let's get cracking with the second coat of paint stripper okay so we're actually on the number three layer of paint stripper as well as a bit of a sand and um, there's still a lot of red staining on the metal so I have actually got the wire drill brush on here um, and I'm kind of just um, sanding that away um, with the, the wire um, and now I'm just cleaning the internals in degreaser in the WD-40 and uh, I'm going to try and give them a clean then we will do the main body of the pedal Okay, so I decided to take the paint off the front of the DX and polish it up and it's come out amazing, which is really, really good. Um, I've kept the back black, but then used some touch up Sharpie pen on the back for the scratches. But I have actually polished all the edges all the way around. So hopefully it'll be a bit of a unique pedal. I've not seen one of these done for a long time like this. Um, but yeah, there we go, it's pretty good. So that's the... Um, yeah, just the buffer that I use with the auto salt. So that's, uh, should have that in every workshop when you're doing kind of any kind of cleaning.
On the last uh, video we stripped down the Intense Uzi DH and um, this is the end result. Um, the frame um, isn't in the best condition um, so it does need a sand down and a polish and there's a lot of parts to this frame and it's very tricky and intricate um, so this is why it's actually took a little bit of time to um, get around to producing this video but um, I hope you enjoy the process um, and uh, sit back with a cup of coffee or a beer and um, yeah hopefully you can um, take some inspiration from this with any kind of uh, ball burnished or polished frames and uh, hopefully you can see how much I can bring this back to life.
Okay, so this is the point in the video when the frame is built up and just a bit of a frame appreciation um, segment. Um, pretty happy with how it came out considering the kind of oxidization up to all over the frame. Now, this actual whole build isn't complete. Um, the frame actually needs new decals um, and the rear shock does actually need servicing even though I won't be riding it, but it is actually leaking oil. Um, the brakes, the haze brakes that are actually on it um, need new pads um, and also the brake levers have actually been bent. So it would be kind of cool to do a restoration on them brakes. I've never worked on haze before, but um, yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see where that leads us in the future. Okay, so here we're taking the disc brake rotors off for the first time. And um, I got it in the vise and uh, basically got the wire brush on it because was, there was rust um, all over it. So a uh, little technique not to go too heavy on it, but um, they should clean it up to um, a nice degree. After the disc rotor, um, I did the same with the bolts because again they were pretty grubby, pretty rusty, so um, just cleaning this up for aesthetic purposes. Here I'm just using some auto sole for like car paint um, reviver on the uh, boxes. Now as you can see these are in terrible condition. Um, I would normally never post anything online of this caliber but basically these do need a respray and new decals and I'm just not there yet to do that but um, one day I will be. So here's the, uh, the part selection. As you can see, there's the rebuild of the Shimano DX pedals, full stripped down and paint strip on them. I've swapped out the uh, hone cranks to the XTs, so a bit of an upgrade. Watch out for that saddle change later on. Um, 
I decided to put something a little bit better on that. But all the parts that were on the bike, I have um, fully cleaned, stripped down, rebuilt. And um, yeah, I guess this is the final process of the rebuild. Um, enjoy.